Hello and welcome to another Click Tips and Tricks video. I'm your host Shilpin Patel from analyticsub.io where one and only one goal we have is to make you an awesome Click developer. In this session, we're going to go over nested parameterized variable. If that sounds oxymoronic, just hold on to your hat because I promise that once we go through this concept, you'll find it not only very powerful, but practical as well. So without further ado, let's go over the concept first and then we'll create a practical use case that you can use in your next project. All right, so let's understand what is parameterized variable first. So we have a blog post written on our site, analyticsub.io, so I encourage you to read that. But in a nutshell, this is how it works. If you have an expression that you can repeatedly use by passing parameters, you can write that expression and store that expression in a variable with $1, comma $2, comma $3, etc. As many parameters you have that you want to pass. It's very similar to how you pass parameters or value to a function. So think of this as a function that you're writing. It's a compact expression that you're writing and then you want to use that expression time and again for various values. In this case, we're calculating 30 days average, 60 days average, or 90 days average. So we have three different KPIs. So the idea is instead of writing that expression again and again, we just write it once, store that in a variable and pass just parameter $1 that will then compute the average value for all three KPIs. So the beauty of this is that if you need to make any change in the future, you just make it in the variable without touching any of your KPIs. But in this session, we're going to take it one step further by creating nested parameterized variables. So it's hard to explain. Let me just show you a real use case. And once we finish that, you'll find it quite useful. So let's start by clicking on edit. We have this right hand space that we're going to use. I'm going to use a new object that click introduce in April release. So keep in mind that this works only in April release. If you're going to use buttons that I'm showing you to recycle the same KPI to show different values. So let's first copy one of the KPIs and paste it at the bottom and resize it. This is simple here. Now I'm going to use button from list of charts, drag and drop. And the good thing about buttons in April release is that buttons also have actions and navigations. So we can use action to set value of a variable. Since we want to create a variable that will hold value 30, 60, and 90 instead of hard coding 30, 60, and 90 in three different KPIs. So let's start first by creating a variable and we're going to call it V days. And let's just assign a value of 30 initially. So we have a variable in place. Now in the button, we're going to add an action. So click on action, add action, and you'll find list of actions. And there are quite a few. So you can go through the list. And as you go through it, you'll find many, many useful actions that you can perform. At the very bottom, you're going to find set variable value. So select that and then select V days as variable and assign value of 30 for the first button. Now in the appearance, we're going to change the title of the button from button over to 30 days average. So let's just type 30 days average. And let's change the font size to make it bigger. And that's it. Eventually we're going to even change the background color, but for now this is good. So let's copy this and paste it one more time. So we're going to create three different buttons. So this is second button and let's create third button right here. And let's make this a little bigger here. So for the second one, 
the value of the variable is going to be 60. So instead of hard coding, as you see, I'm using button and the action to change value of variable V days. And of course, I'm going to change the title to 60 days or the label to 60 days. Same way for the third one, we're going to change the value of variable V days to 90. And we're going to change the label to 90. Now, if we click on done and click on any of these buttons, nothing's happening since we haven't modified this expression. So the trick here is to chain the definition of the expression in the KPI by removing the static value of 30 and replacing it with dollar sign expansion V days. So as you see, it shows 90 here right now. So I'll apply this. Now, if you click done, if I select 30, it shows 379. If I click 60, it shows 395 and 90 is showing 448. So that part is working. Now, the last part is I want to change this label so that it shows either 90, 60 or 30 days. So how we do that, let's click on edit. And in the label here for this, we're going to add a dynamic label by adding V days and then M percent to concatenate the string and type days average and apply. Now we have 30 days, 60 days and 90 days. Beautiful. So it's working. Now, what if we want to change the background color as well? So if I click on 30 days, it should change to a different color so that for your users, it's easier to differentiate between the buttons and realize which button's been clicked. So for that, we are also going to create another variable and we'll use pick and match functions to select the color. So let's start first by adding another variable called the selected color. And it's going to be RGB value. Let's say 88, 24, 60. So that's maroon kind of color. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to create a new variable with an expression that contains combination of pick and match with a parameter. So let's create a new variable and we're going to start with match comma dollar one, which is our parameter that we're passing. And we're going to use pick around that. So if it's Boolean true, then we want to change color to the selected color. So we're going to use dollar sign expansion and we selected color and then parenthesis complete. Notice that here it shows error because we have a parameter dollar one in the expression. So it is showing an error, but the expression is fine. So we're going to just apply this and call it E color bigger. So that's our variable that contains an expression with a parameter. So close the variable editor. And now we're going to click on a button and let's go in the appearance. Under that, we have the background option. So instead of single color, we're going to change it to expression. And here we're going to change the expression to dollar sign expansion with E color picker. And we're going to pass value of 30. So you see that it's bringing this expression and it's okay now since we're passing 30 in the expression. So that's our expression that we're going to copy. So apply this here and then add it to the second button by expression and the same expression, but the value is going to be 60. And the third one where value is going to be 
90. All right, so if you click done and you click 30 days, you see that now turns into maroonish color. If I click on 60, now that's showing a different color versus 90. So I can recycle through buttons and see the value in the KPI underneath with dynamic title. So we can save a lot of space by creating several variables and nesting them along with parameters. So I hope that you found this useful. Again, if you like what we teach, please like our videos and share our videos with your friends and colleagues and visit analyticshub.io academy and join our academy. We promise that for a small amount, we're going to transform your career by helping you take your click skills to the next level. Until next video, have a wonderful day.